Okay, so I was talking to Snap on John 100, uh, that's his username, uh, about fixing my riding mower. Uh, he was telling me how to hook up some wires to the diesel and solenoid on the bottom of the carburetor. Uh, I'm trying to get this Briggs 14 horse overhead valve engine to work. Uh, it's on the snapper. This isn't the original engine, it's a replacement. The other one was seized, so someone put that on there, and then they just didn't feel like getting it all to work. So they sold it to me for a hundred bucks, and I bought it. Um, I have this other riding mower here. It also has the diesel ink solenoid on it, which is right here. But this one just has a clip, uh, clip-in wire thing, right here. It's like that, and. Uh, I don't know how, I, if I could take those wires off there and put them on there. I don't know if that's possible, but this is an 18 horse Intec motor. I bought this thing for 18, 80 bucks. Uh, it's a pretty good motor on it. But the diesel and solenoid on this one is a little different. It does have spade connectors on it. If you can see that, there is a spade connector on it right here. That is a spade connector. Ah. And I think I might have just broke it. Um, I'll have to see if I could get that to stay on or whatever, but... Or maybe I'll hook it up to different or something. I just accidentally bent it and it ha feels really loose now. Like it's going to break off. Uh, yeah, but... From what I understood from him, this just has one spade connector on it, if you, if you can see that. That's a single one. And he was telling me more about if I had two of them on there. This one only has one, actually. So, from what I understand from him, is the carburetor bowl is the ground for the motor, for the, uh, carburetor and the spade connector needs to be hooked up to a wire that will supply the power to it and he uh, told me to splice that into one of the hot wires coming from the starter I think that has battery power in it so I'm wondering I don't really have too much wire spare wire on me so I was wondering if it would be possible to use like speaker wire or something or cable wire or I don't know but uh, just give me some advice and uh, I'm just looking at this here right now and I see this wire here this little red one I don't know what this is meant to do this isn't a spade well it's not a gonna connect to that so to find where that goes let me see if I can find that real fast. Yeah, this here, I don't know where that goes. It doesn't go there, but here's another uh, male spade connector. I don't know what this hooks up to. But if I can get it to work, it doesn't really matter. If it, uh, I just want to get it to run, I can take over from there. So um, if someone could give me a little advice what to do, where to get the wire pieces, and if they know what it needs, uh, that would be great. The battery does not have a charge anymore, so I'll need to jump it from a, from my dad's truck. And then I can hopefully get it to run, and I'll use this mower to mow my lawn. And uh, that would be good, because right now I just use a little walk-behind 22-inch mower, which would make it a lot faster and easier. Uh, yeah, if anyone could give me any help, that would be great. If anyone wants to see any videos, tell me. Uh, I can make a video on a certain piece of this or whatever. Just comment down below. Down there. Rate and subscribe. Hope you like this video. And uh, check out my other videos for more repair videos and other stuff. Just to show you real fast, here's my yard man. 
mower that I just got the other day. The battery under there. That's the one with the Intec motor on it. Eight or 16 horse Briggs. Deck's not great, but it doesn't have any huge holes in it. Uh, steering column doesn't work too good. Flat tire in the front, but 80 bucks motor's worth that, so it's all good for me. And uh, I guess I'll see you later. Uh, check out my other videos. Thanks. Bye.